everyone, welcome back to my channel. So right now it is 10.30 p.m. I'm hardly wearing any makeup. My room is a mess. I'm very tired, but I'm still ready to roll. So today I'm going to be doing a talking video since you guys request those crazily. Um, everybody really, really, really wanted Fitness Fridays and I will be doing those next week. That's going to be starting next week. However, I just couldn't do one today because I needed a little bit more prep time. So there will be going one going up next week and hopefully the following week, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a regular thing for me because I'm super excited about that video. Like I'm so excited. You have no idea. But today I wanted to talk about something that I have actually talked about before on my channel. Um, I can link it down below for you guys. A lot of you guys really liked that video. It was a talking video about why girls wear makeup um, and the misconceptions about women wearing makeup and that if you are you wear makeup, you're like insecure, you're trying to get like men's attention, all this stuff. So I recently got linked to this article and it is called, um, it's from the website Elite Daily. Um, I will link it down below, but I've never um, seen this before. Also, shout out to Ari for giving, sending me my phone case. You guys rock. Thank you for the care package. I really appreciated that. But um, anyways, this is, the website is Elite Daily. And the title of the article was why you should date a girl who doesn't need to wear makeup to feel beautiful. So right off the bat, I was kind of just like, all right, what's this going to say? And it kind of gets really, like it gets worse throughout the article. Um, so I'm going to read you a section of it just because I wanted to tell you guys the part that kind of was just like, eh. um, but it says right here, this is a quote directly from the article, as teenagers... As teenagers, many girls already start applying the popular colors and creams going to school as grown-up versions of themselves. They ask their moms to let them start wearing bronzer and mascara so they, too, can get the attention of boys. From an early age, they start believing they are only whole when masked by a layer of makeup and concealer. They think beauty is in the way they can draw on a cat eye and perfectly apply blush on the apple of their cheekbones. But what about the girls who didn't wear makeup in high school? Isn't there beauty in that? Okay, so... Um, I just want to address that section right now. I don't know if there's, uh, there's some other sections I want to address, but that's the main one I really want to talk about. So essentially the first thing that I see wrong, oh, sorry. Um, so the first thing I see the most wrong in this is just the thing about, um, they ask their moms to let them start wearing browns or mascara so they too can get the attention of boys. I talked about this. Um, every girl that I've ever spoken to about makeup, um, her number one priority is not at all getting the attention of like anyone. It's just because she feels good doing it. And that's why I don't understand why we need to take down what someone else thinks to rise up someone else. See, I love when girls don't have to wear makeup, but I love when girls do want to wear makeup. I think we should celebrate all types of beauty, not just ones that are natural or unnatural. You know, just because someone wants to do something a different way doesn't make your way right and their way wrong. It just means that you just like different things. And so to assume that someone is doing this for attention or just because they want a boy's attention or things like that, it's very like medieval and just not everything girls do is for boys' attention. Sometimes they just want to do things because they do them. You know, there are plenty of been plenty of days where I just go out with no makeup because I I want to because I don't want to put the effort into putting on makeup for myself, you know? Like it's not always about someone else. Sometimes you just do things because that's the way you feel. And so then there's the other thing of, you know, from an early age they start believing they're the only whole when masked by a layer of makeup and concealer. They think beauty is in the way they can draw on a cat eye and perfectly apply blush on the apple of their cheekbones. Um, I also don't agree with that statement. I also don't know. I mean, I know a lot of girls who are like very insecure without makeup, but I've, I mean, I'm not someone who sits here and says I'm so ugly without makeup, you know, I'm not somebody who's like, I'm the prettiest person on the earth, but you know, I obviously do have some self-confidence and you know, that's making a very quick snap judgment on somebody when saying, you know, she's wearing makeup, she obviously must be insecure, we probably don't want to mess with that, you know, and that's also not fair, you know, and that would be like me making a snap judgment on a girl who doesn't wear makeup and say, well, she just must be lazy or doesn't care what boys think. Like, she just must not want any guys. Like, that's not fair. That doesn't mean anything about them. Just because someone does something doesn't make this a characteristic of who they are. It's just something that they do. You know, some people, makeup is their complete hobby and they love just messing around with it. And that's totally okay, too. They're not doing it for anybody's attention. And, you know, like, it's the same thing as doing painting just on a face. So, it's not 
always about someone else and I think I can't ever stress that enough like I think it will go to my grave just saying that and I think that stands true for a lot of aspects of people's lives you know like the way you dress or the way you look and things like that you know that doesn't make you who you are you decide who you are you you decide what kind of person you want to be and what like everybody deserves respect and the author of this article, I'm not bashing anyone here, I don't know who the author of this article was, I just got linked to it, I think it's like a year old, I'm not like, I'm not angry at this person, but this is just such a misconception that gets constantly like thrown around all the time, but she states in here she wears makeup, it's not like she's somebody speaking from a person who doesn't wear makeup, she says she wears makeup, I mean she says the woman who doesn't wear makeup is not a better woman, just a different type of woman, the woman who needs more respect because she's bold enough to not wear makeup every day and that's why she's the perfect girl to date. It gives this little disclaimer of all these reasons are not to say women who wear makeup don't possess these qualities, they're beautiful in their own skin whether she recognizes it or not. But see the thing is, is you can't just give a disclaimer like that and then write an article and just be like, alright guys, these are all the reasons you're doing things wrong, but by the way, I'm not saying you're doing them wrong, but you are. It's kind of like you can't, you can't, that's the same thing as, a, a, I don't mean to be rude, but like you are being rude and that's, you know, again, I commend every girl who doesn't wear makeup, you know. I try as much as I can to not wear as much makeup because you know it is healthier for your skin but there's nothing wrong with wearing some too there's nothing wrong with wearing none there's nothing wrong with wearing some it's not like it's not your place to tell other people that they can't do something with their makeup like makeup is completely it's a form of like I'm not saying it's like the same as art but it's a form of art in the sense of you can do what you want with it it's completely subjective it's something where you can't tell somebody that they're doing it wrong because they're not doing it your way and it's constantly like a battle between these people of like, who should you wear makeup? Shouldn't you wear makeup? Men think you shouldn't wear makeup or men think you should. And it's like, do what you want. Do whatever the heck you want. Whatever makes you happy, that's what you should do. And don't criticize other people if something else makes them happy. Again, it doesn't mean you're right and they're wrong and it doesn't mean they're right and you're wrong. It just means that everybody thinks something different and that's what's a cool thing. That's what what's cool about being in different places and meeting different people is getting to see how other people do things. You know, I would love to live in the life of somebody who doesn't wear makeup every day and see how they feel, you know? I mean, obviously they have a ton of confidence and girls who wear a lot of makeup have a ton of confidence too. You know, you can't, again, no snap judgments here. We're not allowed to make snap judgments on anybody because you don't know you have zero inclination from anything no don't give me that you don't know I'm just saying <laughs> so yeah again like I said I'm not trying to like rag on this article I've just seen so many of these and this was just the one I picked out of all of them but you know like this thing, she doesn't get upset when she's missing lipstick. She looks her age. She doesn't make you guess what she really looks like. She can get caught off guard and not care. She doesn't take hours to get ready. She's not competitive with other women. That I would like to argue because I feel like you're raised in a society where women are raised to fight other women. At some point, like wearing, just because someone wears makeup doesn't mean they want to fight women or just because they don't wear makeup doesn't mean they don't want to fight women. I mean, I don't, she seems simple but has many layers. I mean, this is just, people need to stop worrying about what other people do and just live their lives and do something worthwhile. Do something that makes you happy or benefits someone else in some other way because then you won't have time to sit around and nitpick at what other people are doing. Just a thought. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was kind of just a rambly little video but I wanted to get it out there and let you guys part two of what I thought and you guys love talking videos so there's that again like I said Fitness Friday will be up next week I'm definitely gonna have a video Tuesday but Fitness Friday will be my first installment of Fitness Friday next Friday so get hyped for that because everyone wanted it so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back here later